Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Celebrity Legacy. In this tribute video we bring a list of famous celebrity who passed away today and recent days. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective work and today unfortunately ended up by passing away. Condolences to the family and fans, rest in peace, goodbye to the legends. But first we ask that you show your love and affection by giving this video thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more updates. So let's start. James Sicking was an American actor renowned for his versatile roles in television and film. Born on March 5, 1934, in Los Angeles, Sicking's career spans several decades, beginning in the 1950s. He gained prominence for his role as Lieutenant Howard Hunter on the acclaimed TV series Hill Street Blues, 1981-1987, where his portrayal of the eccentric SWAT team leader earned him critical acclaim. Sicking's television career includes notable roles in Doogie Howser, M.D. as Dr. David Hauser, and guest appearances on popular shows such as Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and NYPD Blue. His film credits feature performances in The Pelican Brief, 1993, Outland, 1981, and Up the Creek, 1984. Beyond acting, Sicking has contributed to the industry through directing and producing. His dedication to his craft and memorable performances have made him a respected figure in Hollywood, leaving a lasting legacy in both television and film. Passed away of complications from dementia at his home in Los Angeles on July 13, 2024, at the age of 90. Shannon Dougherty, born on April 12, 1971, in Memphis, Tennessee, was an American actress known for her dynamic roles in television and film. Sadly passed away from cancer at her home in Malibu, California, on July 13, 2024, at the age of 53. She rose to fame as Brenda Walsh on the hit TV series Beverly Hills 90210, 1990-1994, earning a reputation as a teen icon. Following this success, Doherty starred as Prue Halliwell on the supernatural drama Charmed, 1998-2001, solidifying her status in popular culture. Doherty's career includes notable performances in films like Heathers, 1989, and Mall Rats, 1995. She has also worked behind the camera, directing several episodes of Charmed. Beyond her acting career, Doherty has faced personal challenges, including a public battle with breast cancer, which she has approached with resilience and advocacy for health awareness. With a career spanning over three decades, Doherty remains a significant figure in Hollywood, known for her talent, strength, and enduring influence. Dr. Ruth Westheimer, Born Carola Ruth Siegel on June 4, 1928, in Germany, was a renowned sex therapist, media personality, and author. Unfortunately passed away at her home in Manhattan on July 12, 2024, at the age of 96. A Holocaust survivor, she moved to the United States in 1956 and earned a doctorate in education from Columbia University. Dr. Ruth gained fame in the 1980s with her radio show Sexually Speaking, offering candid advice on sex and relationships. Her approachable and humorous style made her a pioneer in the field of sex education, leading to numerous TV shows, books, and public speaking engagements. She has written over 40 books and continues to be a sought-after expert on sexual health and education. Dr. Ruth's groundbreaking work has demystified sexual topics for millions, making her an enduring and beloved figure in the realm of sex therapy and education. Monty Kiffin, born on February 29, 1940, was a prominent American football coach renowned for his defensive strategies. Passed away in Oxford, Mississippi on July 11, 2024, at the age of 84. He began his coaching career in college football, including successful stints at Nebraska and Arkansas. Kiffin transitioned to the NFL in the 1980s, 
where he made a significant impact as a defensive coordinator. Kiffin is best known for his tenure with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 1996-2008, where he developed the innovative Tampa 2 defense. This strategy became a cornerstone of modern defensive play and helped the Buccaneers win Super Bowl X667 in 2003. After Tampa Bay, Kiffin held various coaching positions, including roles with the Dallas Cowboys and on college teams, often collaborating with his son, Lane Kiffin. His influential career has left a lasting legacy in football coaching. Richard Simmons, born on July 12, 1948, in New Orleans, Louisiana, was a beloved fitness guru and motivational speaker. Passed away at his home in the Hollywood Hills on July 13, 2024, at the age of 76. Police said that his death appeared to be from natural causes. Known for his energetic personality and flamboyant style, Simmons rose to fame in the late 1970s and 1980s with his Sweatin' to the Oldies aerobics videos, which combined exercise with upbeat music. He opened his own gym, Slimmons, in Beverly Hills, where he promoted fitness and healthy living through positivity and encouragement. Simmons became a household name through numerous television appearances, including on shows like The Richard Simmons Show, Late Night with David Letterman, and General Hospital. Over the decades, Simmons has authored several best-selling books on diet and fitness, and his contributions to the fitness industry have helped millions of people achieve healthier lifestyles. Despite retreating from the public eye in recent years, his impact on fitness and wellness remains significant and enduring. Shelley Duvall, born on July 7, 1949, in Fort Worth, Texas, was an acclaimed American actress known for her unique screen presence and eclectic roles. Passed away due to complications from diabetes at her home in Blanco on July 11, 2024. She was 75. She began her career in the early 1970s, gaining attention in Robert Altman's films like Brewster McCloud, 1970, and Nashville, 1975. Duvall's breakthrough came with her role as Olive Oil in Altman's Popeye, 1980. She is perhaps best known for her iconic performance as Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's horror classic The Shining, 1980. Duvall's distinctive acting style and dedication to her roles made her a memorable figure in the industry. In addition to acting, she created and produced the acclaimed children's television series Fairy Tale Theater, 1982-1987, which adapted classic fairy tales with all-star casts. Duvall's contributions to film and television have left a lasting legacy in entertainment. Tony Lobianco, born on October 19, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, was a versatile American actor known for his work in film, television, and theater. Passed away from prostate cancer at his farm in Poolsville, Maryland, at the age of 87. He began his career on stage, earning critical acclaim for his performances in off-Broadway productions and on Broadway, including his role in A View from the Bridge. Lobianco gained widespread recognition with his role as Detective Sal Boca in the Oscar-winning film The French Connection, 1971. His film career includes notable performances in The Seven Ups, 1973, Blood Brothers, 1978, and City Heat, 1984. On television, Lobianco has appeared in numerous series and movies, including Police Story, Law and & Order, and The Sopranos. He won an Obie Award for his performance in the one-man show His Owner, portraying New York Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia. Lobianco's diverse and dynamic career has made him a respected and enduring figure in the entertainment industry. Jeanette Charles, born on October 15, 1927, in London, England, was a British actress renowned for her uncanny resemblance to Queen Elizabeth II, passed away in a care home, Great Bado, at the age of 96. Her look-alike career began in the 1970s and led to numerous film, television, and commercial appearances as the Queen's double. Charles's most notable film roles include National Lampoon's European Vacation, 1985, The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad, 1988, and Austin Powers in Goldmember, 2002. 
Her portrayal of the queen often added a touch of humor and authenticity to these productions, making her a favorite for cameo roles and comedy sketches. Beyond films, Charles appeared on various TV shows and in advertisements, charming audiences with her regal resemblance. Though retired, her unique niche as the quintessential Queen Elizabeth II lookalike has left a memorable mark on pop culture. John Landau, born on July 23, 1960, was an acclaimed American film producer known for his work on some of the highest grossing films in history. Passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 63, Landau began his career in the film industry in the 1980s, working on various projects before achieving major success as a producer. He is best known for producing James Cameron's blockbuster films Titanic, 1997, and Avatar, 2009. Titanic won 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and became the highest grossing film of its time. Avatar broke numerous box office records, becoming the highest grossing film worldwide and winning three Academy Awards. Landau's collaboration with Cameron has continued with the Avatar sequels, further establishing his reputation for producing visually stunning and technologically groundbreaking films. His dedication to innovative storytelling and production excellence has made him a prominent figure in the film industry. Johnny Wachter was an American actor known for his role as Brando Corbin on the long-running soap opera General Hospital. He joined the cast in January 2020 and quickly became a fan favorite with his compelling portrayal of the troubled but kind-hearted Brando. Prior to his breakout role on General Hospital, Wachter appeared in various television series and films, including NCIS, The OA, and Siberia. His career also includes work in commercials and independent films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Wachter's dedication to his craft and his ability to bring depth to his characters have earned him recognition and a growing fan base. He continues to expand his career in the entertainment industry taking on diverse roles that highlight his talent and passion for acting. Wachter was killed in downtown Los Angeles at the age of 37. Cheetah Rivera was an iconic American actress, singer, and dancer, renowned for her work in musical theater. Born on January 23, 1933, she made her Broadway debut in Call Me Madam in 1952. Rivera's breakout role came as Anita in West Side Story, 1957 earning her critical acclaim. She continued to dazzle audiences with performances in Bye Bye Birdie, 1960, Chicago, 1975, and Kiss of the Spider Woman, 1993, among others. Rivera has received numerous accolades, including two Tony Awards for Best Actress in a Musical. Known for her electrifying stage presence and extraordinary dance skills, she remains a beloved figure in theater. In 2009, Rivera received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, celebrating her contributions to American culture and the arts. Her legacy endures as a trailblazing performer who paved the way for future generations. Passed away following a brief illness, aged 91. Today, breaking news. In recent years, actor Bruce Willis has faced significant mental health challenges. In early 2022, his family announced that Willis had been diagnosed with aphasia, a condition affecting his cognitive abilities and communication skills. As a result, the 67-year-old action star decided to step away from his acting career. The news brought an outpouring of support from fans and colleagues, highlighting Willis's impactful career and contributions to the film industry. His family continues to focus on his health and well-being during this difficult time,